Thanks very much, everyone, for your input. I feel like that just made my life a lot easier because we've captured those thoughts on paper. So thank you. Um, if I can just say real quick, I, I really want to just do a hat tip to, uh, to our staff here. I don't always do this, but I do it when it's due. It's definitely due. You guys, are, you guys have already been at the office all day today. We came back, and you're, you're doing your time. So staff, thank you so much for making yourselves available. Thank you for your support and your presence just being here. It means a lot to council members, but I know it means a lot to the community as well. Uh, I feel like this is a, a well-encouraged and, and a boy group. So um, thanks everyone for your energy. Thanks for your time. I know how precious it is. I heard from a bunch of organizations that just said, oh, it's my basketball night. I can't come tonight. Or I've got hot and I can't come tonight. We all know, understand that those are the pressures that we all face. But thanks very much for prioritizing. We have a lot of great information. We have everyone's contact information. What I hope to do in the next couple weeks is, again, put this together into an executive summary of our meeting here tonight, uh, get it published, so it'll come all to you in a PDF form, hopefully, with what we've talked about. Uh, your name is gonna go on a, um, a very private email distribution and won't be used for any other purposes other than just sending an email about this specific sports council. And then again, my hope is that uh, within a month or so, um, I'll try and strike a small search committee and a small committee to sort of assemble uh, CVs, applications, resumes, for um, uh, a, a board of directors or a council that could be a representative of everyone here in, in the room today. So um, don't have any concerns or fears about what that executive looks like right now. I promise you it will be as diverse as we possibly can so that everyone's voice is heard and we can really work on those unifying messages. Um, so again, I, I don't want to open the floor up again, but any concluding thoughts are welcome. Thank you, sincerely thank you. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys came up today. Blue I just want to echo Sandra's comments. We need to keep this moving. Um, the Guelph Youth Sports has been around for years. Uh, it was just always back burner. And yeah. we're all volunteers, and it's hard for us to make time for our own associations, but we need to keep that going for this as well. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Everyone, continue your conversations, okay? But the program for the evening, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Great, thank you. Uh, a new detail that's happened the last couple weeks uh, with the PIN network closing um, <coughs> down. For years, the city has funded through the police service, but now uh, officially through the PIN network, the, um, the background checks, the police background checks for coaches for all the youth minor sports. Um, I'm going to give you hard news, and then I'm going to give you hopefully some hopeful news. It's not gonna get resolved in this fiscal year, okay? So that, that was a budget decision that was made. Um, it's, it's gone, so this year, you know, please message out to your associations. Hopefully your rep teams can cover that in their team budgets, but it's gonna be a cost this year. Uh, you have my commitment, and I know I've spoken to a few other councils here, we are gonna talk about it in the next four-year budget. We have a four-year multi-year budget discussion starting this summer. That's gonna have to be a, a conversation that we have as a, as a city, is how that gets funded uh, moving forward. Because I know volunteerism, there, is, there are barriers to volunteerism, and sometimes it's cost. So we'll, uh, we'll talk about that, okay? Well, thanks for, thanks for raising it. I think that's a good point that I was gonna try to make earlier too, is that the council can't just be about infrastructure and food and facilities and stuff. It should be about finding solutions for things like that. Yeah. yeah. Bringing the groups together for one safe sport education seminar or something, doing something yeah. more than just fighting for space. Yeah. yeah. Again, not to presuppose the agenda, but um, during the pandemic, we funded a lot of organizations through reserve funds, and one of those motions that didn't pass, but irregardless, was to increase the subsidy for youth minor sport to sort of help the associations rebuild their their um, sort of their piggy banks, because during the pandemic, you cannot do this. A lot of associations buy equipment every year, but they had no revenue. So they went into reserves, their own reserves, they cashed in bonds to, to sort of fund themselves for that year. So that, that conversation can happen too. We do, have, we do subsidize youth minor sports. I know when we rent time over here at the soccer dome, it's 50% subsidized um, through, through, the, uh, through the city. But uh, that's another conversation that the council can be advocating for as well, so ensuring that those, are, those associations are well supported through, through the budget, through, through finances. Again, not, not supposing the agenda of the council, but that's something that we can talk about too. Thanks, thanks for bringing that up. Well, and I hope that city staff and council don't think that we're just sitting here bitching and complaining that we want, we want, we want. We yeah. appreciate everything, like the university, the, the school board, um, the city, like your staff's phenomenal, all of you. 
Like we love working with you. you everybody that we deal with, um, like we were upset that Donna left. Uh, you know, she Me was too. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, but like we're I mean, this we're not trying to be a bitch to us. We, we just we want to. It's not. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I said a lot. We appreciate you. I'm a counselor. I get email. This is not one. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I just try to tweet that out. We are not here for. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna say <laughs> but I hope the media caught how right appraised uh, of our staff is. So thank you very much, the media, for being here. Um, I'll give I'll give a, a word to the mayor. Do you have any other thoughts or closing? No, no, no. This is thanks, Dan. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, staff and counselors and, and media. And, uh, this is awesome. It's very exciting. You know, these are these are kind of pivotal moments in the city to launch something, and I think this is a, a, a great idea. Uh, a unified voice around uh, lots of issues um, is just—it's just positive. So, so I, I'm, I'm excited for whatever the next steps are. This is a big first step, and so thank you very much for being here. Again, Dan, thank you very much. Like you know, it's, you know, this kind of stuff doesn't come together easily, and so I really appreciate your advocacy on it. And we're all waiting for the next steps. So thank you. Thanks, Cam. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Please don't make me take that coffee home. If you want a coffee, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.